so yeah, just um, that's gonna get serious. Um, Melbourne News Government and the previous the predecessors, they're killing three to five, seven people a day, and they're corrupt the other courts. You don't get no access to justice at all. Or they lie, they cheat, and they, can't. they hide behind S 121 the Family Law Act. It's just straight out organised crime and corruption. And you've got Vladimir Putin in Europe, the moment of murder spree, he's another lawyer, politician. So is Ted Bundy, he's a lawyer, politician, who's in the Republican Party. There's 80 million psychopaths in the world, 1% of the population. Cost of B types, 4.5%. It's 1 in 20, 2.5. It's just, they get into power, get into government, and things get out of control. That's what the Australian government is now. It's just completely corrupt. It has been for 50 years. The Labor Party's been run by lawyers for 50 years. They designed the family court with it, one, S121 of the Family Law Act, to exploit kids and bankrupt families. And they're killing people daily. And you look at these politicians on the social media, they're not going on that crap. But so is everyone else. It's all about crap. And you've got to get real. You just can't let the government just dictate to you. You commit crimes against people. They're taxing you. Tax your pay. Um, personal tax, payroll tax, GST tax on tax. And you just tax slaves to a corrupt government who are killing people. And you got no idea. You're not waking up. People like just aren't waking up to it. Uh, corporate media, mainstream media, they don't care. They're not going to cover it. They're not going to do the right thing. They're not, there's no real journalists. They're, they're on a, you know, they get paid by the government to keep things under wraps. So it's, you know, doing memes and silly crap and protests and shit like that is not going to do anything. These are psychopaths you're dealing with. They have no. No moral compass whatsoever, they've got no conscience, it's a genetic disorder, they're inhuman, their behaviour is distinctly inhuman, their behaviour is inhuman. Um, so you just got to wake up. Democracy is the only thing that's going to defeat them. You can't kill them all. I worked out a first month of family court and they just lied at me, accused me of domestic violence, and get their way. Uh, proved there's no domestic violence, my ex admitted there was no domestic violence. Primary attachment was never with the mother, it was with, always with me. Uh, so they just lie at you in family court. There's, the judiciary completely corrupt, and so is the government. It falls back under the Justice Department, which is headed up by the Attorney Generals. The government get voted into office. They form a cabinet. Uh, they elect a they nominate a Attorney General, and they go up to the Governor General and get sworn in. Sworn to swear, they swear to, to the people with honour and integrity. Never going to happen. So just. We started the Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Party, a Commonwealth Party. Um, it's a direct democracy. And it's the only way you're going to get anywhere in Australia. You've got to, you've got to abolish personal tax and payroll tax for starters. You've got to get manufacturing. The only way to defend yourself from China is manufacturing. The only way to get manufacturing back in Australia is to demolish, abolish personal tax and payroll tax. And you just got to get real. The big steps, uh, you got to tax imports from China especially, put 100% tariffs on all their stuff. Um, you get serious about China, they're just a bunch of psychos. They're government anyway. There's lots of normal Chinese people that are really good, but the thing is all the psychos float to the top, shit floats to the top, and you get all the governments worldwide just full of these nut cases. Um, with Vladimir Putin, he's a lawyer and a politician, he's on a murder spree now. He's solely to blame on all the murders there in Ukraine and Russia and the people as well. Why the Russian people don't stand up and just knock him off, I don't know. Somebody should. Plenty of people try to shoot Adolf Hitler. Stalin died natural causes or drunk himself to death. So did Pol Pot. All these psychos get taken over governments and the people just let them. Nobody stands up. All just, you know, whine and whinge like a bunch of chooks. There's nothing else. So Commonwealth of Australia, Constitution Party, Commonwealth Party, whatever you like. Uh, you just step up and just do something useful of your life. I understand that the government's not going to get better by doing a meme. And uh, Elon Musk actually had to go at Albanese, I think, today about uh, free speech. But anyway, thanks, Australia. But you've got to wake up yourself. You know, the government's corrupt, they're killing people. That's the Labour Party, has never been, you know, Labour Party's mandates, Queensland anyway. 
um, if you read that, they've become exactly the same thing that the Labour Party was supposed to form to, form to stop. And uh, the Labour Party of Queensland actually started by a journalist and a newspaper editor for the shearers, the working class, but the Labour Party represents criminal class, a bunch of psycho, not working class anymore, they haven't been for 50 years. They designed family court specifically to exploit children and families, bankrupt families. So there you go. Wake up Australia.